Okay, there we go. We're recording. And uh, this is a short mailbag, so um, I'm not going to, I don't know. I'm, we're, we're good here, I think. This is good. It's a good angle. It's good light in here. A little weird for me to be sitting in the chair, and I know I won't be able to show everything off perfectly, but we can try. I can even zoom in with that top camera if I need to, so uh, we'll take a look at that. Uh, news for the week. Um, I don't think there's any news this week, actually. Nothing big happened. Um, the kittens are all doing really fine, healthy. Uh, we finally have good poops, I've noticed, from uh, Wellington and Squall, so that's nice. Uh, they've probably been having good poops for a while, but I haven't been watching them as closely. Um, other than that, not a whole lot going on. I think coming up this week, we're going to have Nibbles, and uh, I think that's this week, isn't it? I've got to look at the calendar. Uh, Nibbles and Spatulas, adoption anyways, coming right up. They've both been so much fun. Nibbles just spends most of her day out in the cat run. She just she loves to keep an eye on stuff outside. Um, but then she comes around with her toy still and meows at her kittens to play with her. She just loves them so much. Hi, buddy. Um... Yeah, uh, yeah, anyway, I guess that's, that's about it. There's, there's, there's not that much else to cover. And speaking of not that much, there's not that much mailbag, so this shouldn't take us too long. Uh, let me just check real quick to make sure that nobody's yelling at me if they can't hear me or anything like that. Oh, I see. Uh, two weeks till the adoption, so not quite yet. Um, a teaspoon's neuter is also coming up in two weeks. Uh, I don't remember the exact date, but it's... Uh, it's like the fifth or something like that. I, I can't. Third? Third. Oh, DJ says third. Okay, perfect. So he's getting neutered on the third. And I know some people might be concerned about that, but all I can say is that um, our vet and the cardiologist consulted with each other uh, before deciding that it was okay to do the neuter, which is why it took so long to get scheduled. Uh, it took them a while to get hooked up. But they really wanted to make sure that they were doing the right thing and doing it safely. So uh, like I said, uh, our vets talked to the, the cardiologist and made sure that they were comfortable. And they said they're perfectly comfortable doing it. So uh, that's it. We're going to have it done. And it's important because he's getting to an age now. Uh, you know, we have mom cats in all the time that aren't spayed. So it could become a real issue if we don't get him done sooner rather than later. Uh, so I'm glad we've got that taken care of. Um, all right. Well, hey, let's, uh, let's, let's get into uh, some letters and stuff. I thought there were two letters. Yeah, I think there are two. Okay. I've got two right here anyway, so we'll pretend that's it. One is a, um, uh, oh, uh, what do they call that? A lenticular, something like that? It's like the little 3D effect that you get by the little, because of the little plastic ridges. Anyway, it's three kittens in Christmas hats and Christmas decorations, and it's very 3D, and it says North Pole on it. So it has come to us from the North Pole, the one and only. And on the back it says, Christmas cats, and it came through, wow, it came through Alaskan Frontier Mail, so I guess it really was from the North Pole. Uh, oh, it's even stamped, North Pole. I didn't know that. The postage is canceled at the North Pole. Hmm. Uh, early Christmas wishes, Kathy and Bill, Sydney and Millet could not make the trip. Well, that's okay. I'm sure you still told Santa what they wanted while you were there. How cool that there's a North Pole uh, postage cancellation. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. So anyway, North Pole, Alaska, apparently is a place. Who knew? That's super cute. And uh, I guess you guys went there. Thanks for thinking of us. Next up, we have this. It says Kitten Academy. All right. Let's see here. Louisville. All right. That's pretty cool. It's like a, like a drawing map, a drawn, hand-drawn map of Louisville. Very cool. Oh, and inside we've got some photos of your cats. Beautiful cats. All right, and we've got some other stuff too. Let's see. We have Louisville cats. I, Louisville cats. We have Per Place Sif at the Perfect Day Cafe. That's super cute. Perfect Day Cafe, spelled just the way you would think P U R R F E C T. Perfect Day Cafe. Uh, it's on Facebook. It's Perfect Day Cafe Louisville, so I guess that tells us where they are. Parted with the Kentucky Humane Society. How cool. Oh, it looks so cool, the picture. It looks really cute. They've got a little counter, like a full cafe. I haven't seen cat cafes that are like that before. And then it looks like a separate area for the cats. That does make sense. That's how most of them are laid out. And I think a lot of that has to do with regulations on food service. 
Uh, okay. In close note, okay to read on air, hugs and kitty kisses from Louisville, Kentucky, Ann and Richard, and our cat gang, Bob, Keisho, Manchas, and Jose? Josie. No, Josie. That's Josie. Okay, we got it. <laughs> DJ, DJ, it's nice to have DJ with an earshot so she can laugh at me during mailbag. All right. Oh, my goodness. All right, the note says, Dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, my wife Ann and I got interested in kitten rescue after visiting the Perfect Day Cat Cafe here in Louisville. I started looking around on YouTube, and there you were. We got hooked on the live feed and never looked back. You're on our screen every day for hours, and we check in on you periodically. We never miss mailbag. Our KA experience started with Ocean and the sailing kits, but every class has a spot in our hearts. Uh, Ann is and was especially in love with Spork, and everybody is nuts about Teaspoon. I felt compelled to write to you after the super bad month you recently had, which affected the whole community. You do such wonderful work and always seem to find room in your hearts and home for even the most desperate cases. We love what you do, and thank you on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. Enclosed are some stickers and info about Perfect Day Cafe, which is in our neighborhood. They adopted out 18 Kentucky Humane Society kittens to their forever homes just last Wednesday and have carefully placed almost 8,000 cats and kittens since they opened in 2018. If you ever come this way, stop and see them and we'll meet you there for coffee and or Kentucky bourbon. Not kitten around with love and hugs from Richard, who is at Raymond on Discord. That seems like it needs some explanation. Um, <laughs> and Anne in Louisville. All right, thank you. At Raymond, uh, who is also Richard, um, from Louisville. That's super cool. Thank you. And I love the stickers, and I love the idea of the Cat Cafe. I just, Cat Cafes are the coolest things. Uh, and that looks like a real nice one. I guess DJ and I have only been to a couple Cat Cafes, but uh, I love the idea. All right, I need some kind of a box opener here. All right, let's find the green knife. There we go. All right. Oh, some kind of a booklet. Aww, this is so cute. Where is the, where's the note? This needs a note. Oh my goodness. Aw, oh, hi Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for the cats that come to stay with you until they are adopted. I've been watching since day one from Beth Loom, I think. L I think it's Loom, L-U-M. Maybe it's Lum, Beth Lum. Uh, we'll try that. Anyway, you've sent a book here. The book is also by Beth Lum, which is the only reason I've used your last name. And it says, uh, the title of it is How Pumpkin the Homeless Cat Found His Forever Home. There's a picture of presumably little black pumpkin there on the front. This is so cute. Hi, my name is Pumpkin. I'm a happy cat, a house cat, and yes, I'm a black cat with a very orange name. You're probably wondering how that happened. Aw, that's so cute. Very sweet. Uh, it looks like... Whoa. Whoa, boy. Aw. So it is the story of the little kitten finding a family... <clears throat> told from his perspective. That's really cute. The photos that you've added are super adorable, too. Oh, I see. They gave you pumpkin as treats. And look at you. There you are in the laundry machine and in a tunnel and with all the toys you can want to play with. What a happy ending. Well, that's really sweet. Uh, Beth Lum, uh, Lum, Loom, thank you so much for sending us the book that I assume is about how your cat, Pumpkin, found his place I love it so much. Thank you uh, for that. How Pumpkin the Homeless Cat Found His Forever Home. I'll take time to read through all of it in a little more detail. Um, it looks like there's, uh, there's some heartbreaking parts there at the beginning, so uh, we'll save that for another time. But uh, thank you very much for that, Beth. All right, <clears throat> and thanks for watching. I appreciate that as well. Okay, from... Oh, I see... I see who this is from. This is from our greatest Scottish fan. And it says, okay to read on stream. Okay, dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a brief note to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for lovely Serenity. One copy is, of course, for the Academy, and one is for Serenity and her adutive family. I loved Serenity from the moment I set eyes on her, and it's been a joy and privilege to follow her in her adventures at the Academy. 
She is the most beautiful gray girl with such captivating eyes, and although petite in size, she has a real presence. All in all, she's an incredibly special girl. Also enclosed are some wee mindings for Serenity to take to her forever home. I love that phrase, wee mindings. Uh, I cannot thank the Academy's humans enough for continuing to look after so many cats and kittens, fosters and faculty alike. With best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. And uh, we'll go ahead and check out the poetry. There we go. I should separate one of these out. Um, here, we'll, I don't want to show, I probably just did flash it, but that's okay. We're just going to tuck this right, uh, actually we're going to tuck it right here. There we go. And then we'll see if we can fit this back in the nice sleeve that you sent. So, a poem for Serenity on the love of Serenity, the Serene. And it says, So, there it was in an instant, and there it shall remain. It is the love of the most serene Serenity, who never ceases to amaze. So, there it is. It is a constant, a constant flow of love. For this gray girl who is oh so special and sent from heaven above. When in time to come I think of you, it will always bring a smile and you will sense from every whisker tip that I am sending you much love across each and every mile. Thank you so much, Joanne. That is really sweet of you. And Serenity is a super special cat. I hardly even know how to describe her. She's such a playful kitten, and she takes great care of the other kittens and especially good friends with Raindrop. Uh, she's also strangely shy around people sometimes, but loves to be snuggled. Uh, just a real mystery. But she is also quite serene, just like the name says. I've never seen her start any real trouble. So this says, To Serenity with much love from Joanne Kelly, sending you spoogles from Bonnie, Scotland. So sweet. And here you've sent some of these uh, little rattan, is, I'm going to call it that even though it's not, uh, balls with some uh, raffia sticking out the bottom, colored raffia. Uh, we have this beautiful purple fish. Oh, here we go. The kittens want to play with it. I don't know where Serenity just went. She must have just been here. Oh, that's fine. She doesn't need to be here for this. Also, Koshida cat nibbles with chicken and cheese. Oh, wow. She's going to enjoy all of that in due time. She's running around in the dining room with uh, DJ right now, though. Or the dining area, I guess. It's not really a room. Don't knock all this down, especially with my coffee right there. All right. Hang on, buddy. Uh, Joanne, that's so sweet of you. Thank you so much for sending that and the poetry, of course. In fact, maybe I can put... I don't want to fold your poetry, but maybe I can roll it and put it in there. These kittens are going to mess up everything, though. Okay, there we go. Carefully roll it. All right, well, hopefully that'll stay. Okay. This is fun. This is a fun challenge. Uh, all right, let me open this next custard. Okay, I think this is from Mishi. Uh, Mishi, I forgot your number. So, Mishi 66? Mishi... Something. Uh, anyway. Oh, here we go. From Mishi60 on Discord. Saw this T and, of course, thought of you, Mr. A. All right. Oh. <laughs> Maggie's apparently zooming around back there. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. It's got a, a very surprised-looking cat with three little flying saucers above it. Uh, and he's got a, it, yeah, it does. It looks very much like uh, OMG, OMG Custard. No, it's not, but it's very cute. It does look just like him. It's perfect. It's a perfect shirt. Uh, that's super cute. It could be Custard. I mean, we can say it's Custard. Okay. Yeah, it looks just like you, buddy. Yeah. You think? Make the face. Make the face. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. All right, well, let me set this right here for a minute. Uh, I can't wait to wear that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, we've got two more boxes and custard's on one of them. So let's take this one next. This one we know is uh, coming to us from Dragon Maker. We can tell from the little logos that are on the side, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it wasn't sent at someone else's behest. Ooh, wow, that catnip smelled really, just smacks you in the face as soon as you open the box. 
Uh, we've got the note has a lobster, a pineapple, and a cup of coffee on it.、Uh, also on the back, it's sealed with a really cool cat sticker. Wow, I don't know how to describe him,、um, but he's got a transparent bit that,、uh, and then this like it's almost like a stained glass with the he's got like metal piping to make his、uh, his border and his little whiskers. Okay, and the note. Oh, so cool! It's a giant cat that has a, a train apparently running right into the side of him, like he's a hill,、uh, and then a whole field of little tiny cats sleeping all around him. It's super surreal, and I love it. That's just that's fantastic.、Um, okay, now let's see if I can decipher your handwriting. It says, "Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, kittens, and KA community." The last batch of fantastic handmade Dragon Maker wings before KACon 2023. Oh, this is a cool print.、Uh, this should cover all the current all the current Academy attendees. One for Ms. Puddles and one each for her five kids. One for Ms. Serenity and two for the special editions from Dr. Katz. Well, bye for now. Thank you and Dr. DJ for all you do for all the mom, cats, and kittens, the faculty, and the KA community. Please nose boop a kitty for me. All the best, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. All right, thank you so much. Say hi to Donkey for me. Hashtag new bingo card. <laughs> nice. All right. I don't know where Donkey Shane is. I know where Donkey Vup is、uh, in in the rocket still in the main room. Shane is. Oh, okay. In our in the bedroom then. Oh, okay. Interesting.、Uh, anyway, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty, thank you so much for、uh, these Dragon Maker wings.、Uh, these are these are great, and the kittens love them. And there's so much good catnip in here. And this is a big pile of different prints. Look at that. We've got a paw print here. We've got these cool mushroom print. We've got a rainbow. We have、uh, sort of a hippie symbols. I see a smiley face and a lips and a, a flower with a peace sign in it.、Uh, we've got this crazy tiger print. We've got this awesome、uh, geometrical. We've got this、uh, flower sort of.、Uh, I don't know what you call this sort of a style.、Um, okay.、Uh, we've got a tie dye. And finally, what looks like、um, I'm going to call it fake corduroy. I don't know what it is. There we go. Those are great colors. All the kittens are going to love these so much. They are a big hit always.、Um, the faculty love them. It's just、uh, they're they're a lot of fun. So you know, the dragon wings are great. This card is fantastic.、Uh, I really love that. That's surreal.、Uh, that's just very cool. So、uh, thank you, Aunt、uh, Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty, and I guess to also to Dragon Maker a little bit. So, <laughs> Custard, all right, it's my turn now. I'm going to need the big box, pal. It's the only one left. Sorry, it's addressed to Puddles. Oh, it's addressed to Puddles, Custard, not to you. Come on now.、Ugh. Okay, come on. It's addressed to Puddles, and、uh, we've got this tape. That has pictures of a mural on it. That's that's right, isn't it? Okay. Ah.、Uh, easy for me to say. All right. Oh, I see. All right. Beautiful.、Uh, let's see if we can get all this tape open. There, there we go. Look at this. We got the mural box、uh, knife protector here. It says hello, 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 all over it. It's got a picture, a sticker of her right in the middle again, and it had the note clipped to it with this really nice little clip. That'll come in handy. Custard will not stay out of it. Ah, hi, Puddles. It's me, Mural. Welcome to the Mom Cat Club. We're giving you extra recognition for being a good sport and agreeing to take on extra tinies when yours were so close to graduating to their next stage. Your face said it all, but you persevered, and for that we acknowledge your efforts. And I personally give you two thumbs up.、Uh, and Serenity, DJ chuckled. I don't know if you can hear that on the microphone when I said two thumbs up.、Uh, and Serenity, I did not forget about you. You're also part of the Mom Cats Club. You proved what a wonderful mama you would have been when you helped with all the babies. Another two thumbs up for you too. Now the time is fast approaching when you will all find your forever homes. 
To help with that transition, I have enclosed gift bags for all nine of you. Don't you fret about these uh, homes between Dawes and Mr. A. They will find you the perfect families who are going to love and spoil you rotten. Believe you me. Well, gotta go. So many birds and chipmunks to watch. So little time. Hugs and spoogles to everyone from you. P.S. How you doing, Ari? <laughs> I guess that should be more of a Joey. You know, I can't do the Joey Tribbiani, though. The How you doing? <laughs> I guess that's not bad. Whatever. Uh, okay. Let's see. So you've sent, as you say, a gift bag for each and every cat. That's so sweet. This one is addressed to Drizzle from Mural. Uh, and then we've got ones to Bud, to Raindrop, to Wellingtons. We have um, Puddles, of course, Serenity, Brawly, Squall, and Sprout. Uh, I can see, that I, are they all the same? Because one of them has, no, okay, I think they are all the same. Just one of them has the, the stick sticking out of it just a little bit. Let's see, I don't want to, you've tied these all shut so well, and I'll never get it back the right way. But I do want to show everybody one. So we're going to untie one and see if we can put it back. Let's do this carefully here. Oh, there we go. Okay, all right, we'll just open one side. So we have, oh, a really cool little miniature wand with one of the, uh, one of Logan's little worm toys on the end. That's a great idea. Uh, we have another wand, this one with a feather on the end. Very cool. Okay, I know you kids want to play with all this stuff. Destroyed? Yeah, I think I cleaned it up. We've got a, uh, a fun tube. We've got a big, fuzzy, uh, 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 felted ball. We've got the weird kind of spring. I don't know how else to describe it. Sorry, I know that's not very descriptive, but I tried. Uh, a big plastic ball, the kind that you might, might even survive being stepped on, which is always where the fate of these things. Uh, we've got a little cute mouse with a, a, a string tail. You're going to get stuck on the handles of those bags, pal. And that's not going to be fun for anybody. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple more fun tubes. We've got a little mouse. We've got a Mylar ball. We have a weird little cone-shaped toy that's got uh, really beautiful colors to it and a feather sticking out the top. It really, it looks like a giant incense cone with the feather being the flames coming out the top, if you picture that. It's very cute. And then I can see just a handful of uh, springs and little balls and little mice and uh, mylar balls. Okay, let's get all this back in here so nobody's shortchanged on their stuff. I saw one toy fell and was pursued. It may have already been lost. No, I got it. Haha. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Now, let's just bring this back over here. And all I have to do is put a little bow on it. Wow, this is so great. Thank you so much to Mural and Mural's family. That's just the sweetest thing. And uh, it's, it's so nice of you to do this. And I know the adopters love it. I think the little personalized bags are the cutest. And they saved me a lot of headache during uh, endowment uh, distribution time, too. I can just uh, get the name and put it right where it belongs. So uh, thank you for all of it. They're such pretty little bags. Okay. I always caution people when you have bags like that, uh, if you're going to leave them out, to cut the handles. Um, so, so we had a kitty once that was very surprised and ended up running around the house with a bag chasing him, which is the worst. Because it's hard to get away from a bag that's grabbed you, as they sometimes do. Uh, okay, well, this is all going down for endowments. That's even better. What a great mailbag. Thank you all for everything. Um, and uh, these, I think they're going to head that direction as well. So I'm just going to put them in here to make it easier to carry everything down at once. We have the t-shirt to go upstairs. We can put this in here. And uh, just like that, wow, we're going to call mailbag done. 25 minutes. That was uh, probably some kind of a record. So I'm going to go ahead and end the recording and change the microphone right now.
Okay, I'm going to end the archive too right now and then take this out. So thank you all one more time.